it's me stormy and we have got eclipse season in the making so we're going to talk about these i'll do it in two different videos so you don't have to absorb everything in one okay in this video i'm going to cover the um, new moon partial solar eclipse that's happening july 12th at 20 degrees of cancer now i have such a beautiful chart to show you guys this time because what we've got here is not only the eclipse happening which is absolutely beautiful but this is in opposite opposition excuse me to pluto but this also forms this month it's got a a grand trine connection just around it that I think is so beautiful because it involves Venus, Saturn, and Uranus. So just such gorgeous energy this month. So I'm going to get ready to pull up the chart here in just a minute and show you guys, but I want to talk a little bit about, just in case you're new to my channel, what is a solar eclipse even about? What's the meaning of it in the first place? So a solar eclipse is just like any other new moon. It's still the new moon that we have for the month, but this one's got a little panache to it. You know what I mean? There's a little pizzazz behind this one. So when we're having a solar eclipse, instead of it having about a four week life cycle to play out, this could take anywhere from six months to a year, just depending on where it falls in your chart. Now, the actual movement that's happening when we have a solar eclipse, right? But the moon is passing between the earth and the sun. However, a solar eclipse gets its power because the moon darkens a little bit. That's why you want to know if you're having a total solar eclipse or a partial. So we are having a partial at this one, which means there's not a full darkening out, right? When this happens, whenever there is a total, our emotions get a darkening out. They get a reset. This is just like a little partial reset and then we go out. So our emotional lives, the way we're feeling about things, the things that are making us feel secure, we're going to reset them because this represents the end of one cycle and the beginning of another cycle and we want it to be the most emotionally healthy that it can be for us and those of us around us for sure, okay? All right, guys, let's get ready to pull up this chart right here. All right, so first and foremost, just talking again about what exactly we're looking at. If you look down here at our glyphs, you can see that whenever we're having a new moon energy, the aspect that is strongest is the conjunction between the sun and the moon. And when these two come together, this is why I say we plant these seeds of intention because anything could happen here, right? When you plant those seeds of intention, it's just like, you don't know how it's gonna come out. You don't know what's gonna happen, but there's a endless possibilities of new life being presented right in front of you. So it's a really wonderful time to make a fresh start and to make some progress, okay? Now, some of the aspects we're going to see related exactly and specifically to this solar eclipse that we've got going on is you can see this opposition happening here between um, the solar eclipse and Pluto. Now, whenever there is an opposition with Pluto, this indicates some kind of power struggle, right? In your security, in your emotions, you could be having a power struggle. Somebody outside of you, depending on where this is hitting in your particular chart, could be posing an intense struggle with you. Now, really, the struggle here is that you're trying to transform something in your life, whether it be just a behavior or a belief that is holding you back. The idea of opposing Pluto is Phoenix energy. Something about you has to die off so that something else can live, right? And then I told you, you see this big, beautiful grand trine that we've got going here. And this is a beautiful aspect configuration because whenever these happen around, um, especially a Pluto opposition, what I think is that the cosmos line up, they conspire to help you make the transformation that you need to in different areas of your life. Now, what it's going to take with the planets involved is a little bit of doing something different, a little bit of beauty, and a lot of hard work and responsibility, but it does help you move through whatever the power struggle is that you're having, okay? Now, let's talk about these aspects a little bit more individually like I do in every video. So this sun opposite Pluto kind of energy, solar eclipse opposite Pluto energy. What can be in the way can be destructive beliefs or behaviors, 
right? And if you have been being very stubborn about changing or shifting or moving forward in these areas of your life, and stubbornness sometimes just looks like fear. If you've been afraid, if you've been afraid in a relationship to speak up, if you've been afraid in a relationship to let go because you're afraid you're going to lose something or not get your way or something like that, this is going to be a time where if you've been putting any kind of resistance on, I think that you're going to find it a little bit more pressing because this opposition is showing you it's holding up a mirror to you it's literally holding up a mirror that's what oppositions do right we get to see our behaviors reflected to us in someone else or something else that makes us go wait i need to take a different action and with this energy of pluto being transformative you're going to want to um you're going to want to gain your power in a different way it's going to urge you to transform and evolve towards the better okay now here's the other catch to this you guys pluto is retrograde at this time and will be until september so he's not full force full power this is likely something from your past because that's what a retrograde does for us it says hey i'm going to focus on the past because we need to review re-edit reconsider whatever it is so this could be a past be belief a past behavior past ideas of security right what used to make you feel safe is that something that you've outgrown now you really have to come current with what your beliefs on these things are right and because Pluto is retrograde, it is such a reflective energy that maybe what's happening is you're not really talking about this with anybody. You can even have tense situations going on, but you're kind of keeping it to yourself, right? Like you're trying to see if you can control it, right? You are, for some people, I will tell you, this is can be an intense energy and we could find them being destructive, but for the most part, I think you're kind of just looking at this going, all right, I have got to deal with and move forward with wherever I'm being stubborn, wherever I'm having this power struggle out. And you've also got transiting Chiron going retrograde in Aries, that energy. So you are looking for your, your fight. You're looking for your identity and you're going to take actions that help you transform and move forward, okay? Now, let's look at this grand trine that I'm so freaking pumped about, okay? Because these are your helpers. This is a grand trine. A trine is a pocket of energy that provides you an opportunity to do something, use the wisdom, move into it and gain the wisdom. So a grand trine is a super fortunate opportunity. It may mean here's where the natural talent or the natural energy is to find your creative way to transform, to move around these things, whatever it is. It also brings a little bit of harmony in a time and in a month where we've got a lot of changing directions. We've got a lot of planets going retrograde this month. So this could be an awesome energy between Venus, if you see it here, Saturn and Uranus that helps create this trine. Now, when you see Venus and Saturn together, it is it is phenomenal for grounding something, grounding something long-term, whether it be finances, romances, um, whatever it is, your, your practical, your sensible, your grounded. If you have some kind of new financial situation or a new romance come into your life, um, one of the things I will tell you is that Venus trine Saturn likes to bring maturity to the table. So you could have somebody um, older than you or more mature than you coming into your life, whether that's romantically or professionally, and they're trying to help you. But this is a good, stable energy to help you make positive changes and to make something solid. Venus in a trine here to Uranus, is this is different. This is exciting. We're going to do something different, right? Maybe you're going to change that thing from just being something you do as a hobby on the weekend to an actual something. Thing, right? This is an experimentative energy. It is an explorative energy. It wants to do things differently. For some of y'all, this is going to give you a little something in the bedroom. You maybe want to try something a little bit different there. Whatever it is, it gives you this energy of wanting to do something different. Rebel against what has already been, which is beautiful because the solar eclipse is asking you to transform. So you're not going to be able to transform by doing everything the same, right? This gets you out of your shell. Now we've also got the other side of this, which is Saturn in a trine to Uranus, which Saturn wants to bring structure, but he's also retrograde here. And he's in a trine to Uranus who wants to take down structures. 
this tells us, you guys, this is likely something from the past that it's time to let go of. Allow it to transform so that you can make a positive change in your life if you want to move forward. This is an amazing eclipse to try something different. Move in a little bit of a different way, right? Be expressive in a little bit of a different way and to definitely let go of some old limiting beliefs or ideas that are not helping you to be that phoenix and rise from your own ashes at all, okay? So beautiful solar eclipse, new beginnings on the way. You've got universal help to help you here. And that is not something that just turned a blind eye up at all, you guys. It's a partial reset. Use it for what it's worth. Use every single one of these energies as if they showed up to absolutely, you know, you are the picture they are carrying in their wallet going, this is my favorite human, right? <laughs> like, you know, use it as if they showed up just for you, all right? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you um, in the lunar eclipse video that I will be doing, of course, in the horoscopes that will be happening all month long. And who knows what other live impromptu chats may be popping up as well. So I love you guys so much, and I will see you throughout the month, okay? Bye!